guys, I'm too. Monday, January 9th. It is the last Monday of the first semester. Next Monday, all second semester classes start. Welcome to this episode of the Daily Video Announcements. I'm Noah. Thank you, Noah. And hello, I'm Sarah. I'm so sad that this is our final week for some of us with the SGH News crew and video announcements class. Our last day is Thursday and the crew, some of us, We'll continue and others, you know, will be moving on to like, you know, gym, art, music, or other STEAM electives, you know. I'm gonna miss you, Noah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss working with all of you precious people um, and producing our daily video announcements. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Okay, now, all that aside, now, let's all please stand, place our hand over our hearts, and join this and join us in honoring this amazing country to say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Remember, do the right thing and treat each other with respect, love, and one another. Be kind, be nice, and stay friendly. Yes, choose to do the right thing everywhere and any anywhere. Anywhere. If you see something, say something. Your voice, your choice. Voice your opinions on the SGH News Crew classroom and reflect on the results. Hey, did you know that the high school academic fair is this Thursday, January 12th from 5.30 to 6.30 p.m. at the Sycamore High School? You can walk around the high school commons area to learn about all the various academic programs that they offer. Each department will have staff members present and to answer your questions. Tomorrow is Spirit Day. It's where you're red, white, and blue to support the recovery of Buffalo Bill player Damar Hamlin and the work of our amazing Cincinnati medical and emergency staff, as well as our amazing Bengals and Cincinnati community. Yeah! Woo! When you're red, white, and blue. Next, we have our students of the week. Now, it also gives me ple great pleasure to announce our students of the week this week. So our first student of the week is Richard Chintapali. Richard, come on over. And Richard was nominated by Mrs. Swaney. And again, he was nominated for exhibiting our PBIS virtues of being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So he gets a certificate. And some Chick-fil-A. Hope you got your Chick-fil-A, right? All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Our next student of the week is Jason Zhao. And Jason was nominated by Mr. Stinson, all right, for being safe, for being responsible, for being a problem solver, and being respectful. So congratulations, Jason. There's your certificate. Thank you. And another student of the week is Mark Lane, all right? Mark Lane was nominated by Mr. Stern for being safe, being responsible, being a problem solver, and being respectful. So congratulations, Mark. There you go. And our last student of the week, okay, is Vindat Singh. And Vindat was nominated by Mrs. Serbless. And Vindat was nominated for being safe, for being responsible, for being a problem solver, and being respectful, okay? So those are all of our students of the week. Here's your certificate. He got some Chick-fil-A. Congratulations to all of our students of the week. All right. Thank you guys very much. We'll see you later. Congratulations, students of the week. You guys are so amazing. Next, over to our athletes of the week. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It gives me great pleasure to introduce this week's Athletes of the Week. All right, our first Athlete of the Week is, eighth grade Athlete of the Week, is Olivia O'Connor. And Olivia is an eighth grade, represents the eighth grade cheer squad, all right? All right, here are a few things our coach says about Olivia. She's a natural leader, and that's why she was chosen as captain. She cares about her teammates, and she encourages them to work hard. 
She is dedicated, engaged, and truly cares about doing her uh, best at practicing games. She is a joy to have on the team. So that's a great write-up for an Athlete of the Week. So congratulations to Olivia. There's your write-up and your certificate. All right. Our next Athlete of the Week is Reed Rowland. And Reed is from our 8th grade boys green basketball team. All right. And Reed uh, brings a tremendous attitude and work ethic to practice each day. He plays hard, never hesitates to go after a lead, loose ball. He leads by example and helps his teammates out in a variety of ways. So he does a lot of stuff out there on the floor, including playing great defense. All right. So it's been a pleasure having Reed on the 8th grade green team this year. And that's written by Coach James. So congratulations, Reed. There's your write-up and there's your certificate. There, that's our Athletes of the Week. Thank you very much. Congrats to our Athletes of the Week. Thanks. Next up, Did, did you, you know? know? The first item sold on eBay was a broken laser pointer. Bayer Brewer, as they say, thankfully, Bayer Mark Fraser was apparently aware of the fact that he was getting a broken laser pointer when he purchased it for $14.83 from eBay's founder, Pierre Omidier, in 1995. And for the most, uh, and for more cool quiz questions for to test your friends, check out 50 Facts About Life You Won't Believe You Didn't Already Know. Today is National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. Across the country on January 9th, each year citizens take the, take the lead to show support on the National Law Enforcement Appreciation Day. Speaking of law enforcement, we have the best law enforcement officer in the building, Officer Audie. He's My bestie! He's the GOAT. Wow, I never realized how much law enforcement actually helps around. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Miriam C, Samantha W, David P, and Noah T. Let's go, guys. Have a wonderful and awesome day. Go do it. Now, over to Mr. Harris. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily video announcements. All right, the, a lot of these are reminders. Make sure we're keeping track of these so we don't lose track of where we need to be and what we're supposed to be doing at these different activities. Our running club, you're going to begin on January 10th right after school. That's tomorrow after school. Okay, you will meet in the launch pad located across in the choir room, and you got to make sure you dress appropriately for the weather. It's going to be a little chilly tomorrow, so if you're going to be out there running, running club will end about 4:15, and parents can pick you up near the track. So running club starts tomorrow after school. We the people, your next meeting will be on Thursday at 7 a.m. in the media center. Please bring your books and materials and complete the unit sheet assignment using the matching news articles like we discussed. And students, this is just a reminder, if you see Luke and Murray, Murray is the service dog, he is working here at school, okay? So I know you guys all like the animals and like the pet dogs and everything, um, but Murray is working while he's here at school. So uh, don't pet him unless he is wearing his bandana. And remember to always ask Luke first if you can interact with Murray, okay? That'll keep everybody safe and let Murray do his job, all right? That's it for me. You guys have a great day, a great Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, Mr. Harris. Now for our awesome joke of the day. Hello, I'm Noah here with Mr. Stern for your joke of the day. Let's see what it is. Noah, is, is the joke that we're talking into a banana? Uh, no, you, you can't be unoriginal. Like, you gotta make up your own joke, because, like, you're, you're speaking off me. I, so don't, I don't appreciate you that. You didn't have a microphone, so you grabbed the closest fruit? Well, it's not a closest fruit. It was actually gonna be my lunch. But yeah. Like, I guess it's better than like grabbing like a pineapple or something. Yeah, because <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't want to steal some jobs at home, so like, yeah. All right, so Noah, what does a hippie call his wife? I don't, I don't know. What is it? Uh, he calls her Mrs. Hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Go Aves! Seek <laughs> 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 more. Let's have some awesome spirit and be cut. Follow PBIS expectations. Thanks for watching because we really do appreciate it. We'll see you on Tuesday, Sycamore. And, and of course, go eight.